Now comes the interesting bit. Because what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pour it into moulds. And rule of thumb is when you pour in a cake into a mould, you've got to be able to put the damn thing in oven, so you can't use all the <coughs> combustible, all that's, all, all that's plastic, obviously, put it in oven, so this is stainless steel, our orange squeezer I bought from charity shop. And <coughs> I'm going to pour cake mix into this. And this will be stem at mushroom. <clears throat> and I don't know if I've done enough here. That'll just overflow anyway. Next is um, cap at mushroom. This is top up mushroom and you don't really want to worry, or worry about filling it right up because it's self raising flour and it'll just expand upwards so there should be enough. You just want it three quarts full basically because it's just going to expand and fill out into that gap. One thing I never did was um, grease these two things. I've got basic mushroom and actual mushroom itself so they both come out of oven fairly well. This one took an hour. It's still hot, it's not really supporting itself so it needs to be left to cool down and I've had a bit of a taste of this and it tastes really nice. It's a lot better when you use decent flour unlike that other rubbish I've been using from supermarket. So all the idea is is that the mushroom top sits on top of that. I'll just pan it out a bit. Mushroom top sits on top of that. But it really needs to be left about an hour or two to cool down before you can physically do that. So we'll just treat them both as a separate entity with topping. And that's basically all the idea. You've got a cake in the shape of a mushroom. And my oven's not very good, so it took about an hour and a half in that this stainless steel container. And the oven's not all that good. Anyway, um, what I'm going to do with this is... If I can find it... I'm going to use this stuff, um, it's milk chocolate flavour covering apparently, I've never used it before so um, I'll just see if there's any instructions on here. This is um, really easy stuff to do with cooking chocolate, all you do is melt it into a pan. And you need to keep it workable when you're using it and keep stirring it round. It needs to be pliable and workable and hot when you're using it. So if you, when you're melting it, just keep stirring it round. And just take other chunks off and add it in as it's needed. 
And if you want, you can add a bit of sugar to that just to um, get it tasting a bit sweeter because it is fairly sour. Of course you don't have to do this, you can uh, use whatever colouring for this project that you want. Just melt that into a pan for five minutes. Now we can move on to the fun bit with this. Um, this stem section at Mushroom has cooled down fairly sufficiently and it's a nice rounded shape nice rounded windmill shape so what we can do now is <coughs> bloody hell yeah <coughs> it does give off a lot of smoke this stuff so i'll have to open window that's one thing i never bargained for Anyway, let's get it on. It's gone out to a liquid. And all you do is just drip it on like that. <clears throat> just letting it penetrate as a liquid so flavour penetrates. And just let it run down like that. So, just drizzle it over and let it run down. Tell you what, it gives off some serious fumes, this, it really does. Just drizzle it over like you would a treacle pudding or something like that. And it'll find its way in and bind nicely you really need an open window when you're doing this as well because it gives off some fumes and that just covers nicely you get both sides It gives a fairly good effect as well. Right, that should do. Oh, we need to do the same for the top, but we'll put that to one side. And We can do the same for the top, obviously I've got to get <coughs> another, another uh, plate. Once again, I've uh, melted some chocolate and a bit of uh, ice here. If you, really fa if you really value your saucepans, you'll soak them immediately after because it really sticks. This stuff really sticks to saucepans, it does, so you need to soak your saucepan immediately after. Just ladle that on, just as we did before. should do it. The saucepan goes in a soak. <laughs> Strawberry flavoured frosting. Of course this is um, optional and I've had to eat, eat this up on the oven for a couple of minutes because when you get it out of a container it's fairly stiff and it's not all that pliable. So I'm going to just put that on there just to give you some idea of what it's all about. Put 
put some down side and it looks better than it does on monitor <clears throat> drizzle some down side and uh, the colour's not very good on this monitor I'm not, not sure what it's like on camera or final production but it's not looking good but it's um, from where I'm standing it's looking fantastic because it's nice and pink finished product. It looks a lot better off, off camera than it does on. It's um, got a really nice pink icing. I just wish you could see it in full colour. I should have used red icing really. Anyway, thanks for watching.